not just gonna reach under there and grab that thing and just snatch it up, okay? All right, because that'll spook the heck out of her. Gonna go nice and slow, gonna show her about all that stuff. All right, and that, that cinch has gotta come out a little bit more. She's really big through the heart girth, so gotta let it out a little bit more to accommodate her ample girth. I like to keep these horses good and fat when I'm doing this because a lean trim horse uh, will have a tendency to move around quite a bit more. A nice fat horse has fewer things to worry about in life, okay? They're less stressed and they, uh, they, handle, they handle things like this a little bit better. They're learning a little bit faster because they don't have food on their mind, okay? So much, they don't have food as much on their mind say as a thinner horse so and they run out of wind a little bit faster too same as a fat person does you know you catch me the week after thanksgiving i'm not gonna run very far and i'm not gonna fight you very hard <laughs> kind of the same kind of the same theory there all right she's feeling a little bit concerned i got it pulled up and tight now not just cutting her in half tight, but it's snug. Okay, and I'm gonna pull up this back cinch kind of the same way. It's, it should just contact her, okay? It should just contact. There shouldn't be any daylight, but at the same time, you shouldn't be gathering up her guts with that thing when you pull it tight, okay? I'm gonna check that front cinch a little bit more. All right. Now I'm not gonna turn her loose. I'm gonna hold on to her. We'll see what happens when she steps off right here.